Well, I didn't want to have to shoot this follow-up video, but my well ran dry, my pump overheated, and melted my fittings. Again. <sighs> Hi everybody, this is Kent from Man About Tools and this is a follow-up video, as I said, for the problems I've been having with my shallow well irrigation pump. When the well runs dry, as it does late in the season, the pump has not been shutting off and it's been overheating and melting the fittings. And I thought I had a solution to that by adding an additional thermostat. Obviously that didn't work. So I'm going to try a couple of other options. The first one uh, was recommended by uh, a viewer and said that the pressure tank that's right beside the pump may be causing the problem and preventing the low pressure cutoff switch from shutting off the pump. So I've redid all the fittings, replaced the ones that were melted and I added a ball valve so I can effectively turn off the pressure tank. The well is very low, so we're going to do a real-world test now, shutting off the pressure tank, running the uh, pump for a while, and just basically see what happens. So briefly, here's my uh, setup. Three-quarter horsepower shallow well jet pump. There's an intake that comes in from the well, goes to this T-fitting, Got a ball valve here for um, priming the pump. From the T-fitting it loads the pressure tank and then it goes down and out to the garden. Um, I've got a pressure gauge here. There's a 30-50 uh, psi switch with low pressure cutoff and this is the thermostat that I added, the dryer thermostat, that was supposed to cut off the power when the housing got too hot. Obviously that's not working properly. Um, it doesn't sense it or it gets hot in this section but not this section that melts the pipes. So I'm going to turn off this ball valve which will turn off the pressure tank, run the pump. Uh, the well's almost dry right now. We've got another camera above that's going to watch and record the pressure to see where it shuts off or if it doesn't shut off. So over here at the well, I've got another light and additional camera set up. This is the intake line to the pump. And at the bottom of that, there's a, a foot valve just below the surface of the water. And when we run the test and run the pump, we'll be able to see when the foot valve starts to draw in air. And hopefully this is bright enough so you'll be able to see what's going on. Okay, let's do this. And to do this test, I'm going to run water uh, through this hose into this rainwater collection tank so we don't waste any water at all. All right, I think I have everything ready for the test. I have all the cameras running, and uh, this will be the first time that I've purposely run this pump dry, and it'll be the first time that I've run it without a pressure tank. So I'll turn off the pressure tank, and I'll run up and start filling the rainwater tank. Well, it looks like it had trouble keeping up. I don't know if the well ran dry or what happened. Still water in there. So I'm not sure because there was no pressure tank. Let's start it up.
Certainly doesn't like it. I think I'll turn that hose down a little bit to try to simulate uh, just a drip irrigation system. All right. Certainly doesn't like it without a pressure tank. Wow. I think I'll turn the pressure tank back on and we'll just run it dry and see what happens. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the pipe just to speed this along a little bit. Okay, so it was stuck pretty much right at 26 PSI, but it's no longer pumping any water and this housing is starting to get warm. I think because of the pressure tank and it can't drop pressure to do the low pressure cutout. So problem still exists. I'll have to figure out something else. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Okay, so it's a couple of weeks later and I have another option. I have a motor controller or sensor that's going to be wired between the electrical panel and the motor. And this will shut the power off to the motor when the well runs dry. Um, when the pump is running under load, pumping water is drawing a certain amount of current measured in amps. And if the well runs dry, um, there's no water circulating through the pump, then the amperage drops uh, significantly. And this sensor reads that drop and should shut off the pump. So the next thing I want to do is uh, install the sensor in this uh, electrical box with its cover, uh, go down to the uh, pump house, mount this on the wall, and wire this uh, from the panel to the panel and then from the sensor to the motor, and we'll do that now. So I have the dry run relay installed at the pump house, and I'll show you how I have that set up here. So the rapid cycle and dry run relay is mounted on the wall. Uh, you can see on the display that it's reading zero because the pump's not running right now. So from the sub panel, first runs through a switch and then into the input of the relay and then from the relay it runs to the uh, pressure switch of the pump. Now I've done a test and run the pump and it uh, refills at 30 and shuts off at 55. So for my test I have a faucet uh, near the pressure tank and a hose. I will turn the water on, let the pump start to run and then down at the well, I'll pull the hose up with the foot valve above the level of the water. And that should trigger a, a dry run uh, situation and shut off the pump. Now, I know that this pump normally would run about uh, four amps and it's set just below that. So if the amperage drops, it should shut off and uh, we'll see if that happens. Okay, I'm ready to test this. I will uh, start the pump by running the water. Once the pump is running, I'll go pull the uh, uh, intake hose out of the well. Hopefully I'll be able to pull this up far enough. Okay, I've got the hose up out of the uh, out of the well. Okay. 
and I just heard the pump click off. We'll go have a look. All right, it says dry. Turn this off. So the pump has run dry and the relay turned it off. Okay, excellent. So that worked out really well. All right, I'm gonna do a manual reset. Um, reprime the pump and we'll do another test to be sure. Okay, I'll pull it out. Okay, I have the foot valve out of the well. All right, so the pump shut off. So the dry run relay works. It works really well. So that's the solution I've been looking for. Thanks very much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. All right, I'll get the cover back on. Ah, maybe I have to reset it first. Yeah, I gotta reprime, reprime, reprime the pump.